Okay guys, so next up we've got this Vero Panzer, which is the model 4125KD. As you can see, it's been branded with the Ganebo brand though as well. You've probably already noticed by the key, we've got a seven pin core as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, which is quite unusual, even for a bike lock. Um, of course, the lock works absolutely flawlessly. It is brand new, of course. Opens left and right. And of course we have a 10 mil gap either side there with a 10 mil hardened shackle as you can see it's actually an armored um, bike lock as well with armored plate in both sides as well so all in all pretty tough tough lock actually um, especially with a seven pin core anyway you guys are here to see whether we can pick into it so of course we're going to use the bottom of the keyway tensioner and i'm going to use a shallow hook in 20 thousands okay nice little click out of one one set Nice little click out of two, two for a set, nothing out of three, four, five, six. Nice little click out of six, nothing on seven. One feels fine. Nice little click out of two. Three's binding. Nice little click out of three at a time. Four's binding. Okay, four got us into a full set. As you can see, I'm using relatively moderate tension on this one. Five and six. Counter rotation of five. This pick's not going to uh, get up there. I'm going to use a slightly steeper hook there. It's going to go back through. Nothing on one. Two feels fine. Three feels fine. Four feels fine. Five. Here's the high cut at five. Okay, got five that time. Nothing on one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get to six. Okay, six and six opens us up. And not actually too bad, but I did need to switch picks there as well. Um, to a high reach pick. Anyway, guys, that is the Vero Panza 4125KD. Wonderful, wonderful lock um, and definitely quite a tricky one to pick. Listen, guys, hope you enjoyed that. And of course, I'll be catching up with you again very shortly. Have a nice day.